Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Please, if you're new, you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you're not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to go to the McMahon's community. Thanks to Ebeliza Tete from the University of Ghana, Legon, for sending me this question. In this lecture, we are going to prove inequalities using the mean value theorem. Now, subscribe, like, and share. Remember to leave your comments as well. Now, we are to prove using the mean value theorem that sine inverse of x is greater than x but less than x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared for x greater than 0 but less than 1. Now, let's say that we have f of x equal to the sine inverse of x being continuous on the closed interval 0 to x and differentiable on the open interval 0 to x. Then there exists a number c between 0 and x such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a all divided by b minus a. That is the mean value theorem. Now, let's find f prime of x. If we differentiate sine inverse of x, we are going to get 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x squared. Check the description for the derivative of the sine inverse function. Check the description for that video. Now let's continue. Let's find f inverse of c. So here, f inverse of c will be 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus c squared. Now let's come back here. f inverse of c is also equal to f of b. So here, a is 0 and b is x. So we have sine inverse of x minus sine inverse of 0 all divided by x minus 0 so I have f prime of c is equal to sine inverse of x divided by x wow. which is the same as 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus c squared check that now how do we proceed remember to subscribe like share and leave your comments now if we consider this open interval we say that c lies between 0 and x so it means that 0 is less than x sorry 0 is less than c and c is less than x since c is between 0 and x now let's consider this part of the inequality if we have c less than x c squared will still be less than x squared wow but let's see 1 minus x squared will be less than 1 minus c squared very very simple as that if we take the reciprocal of each 1 minus sorry 1 divided by 1 minus c squared will now be less than 1 divided by 1 minus x squared let's see from what i've done here remember that c lies between 0 and x and x also lies between 0 and 1 so it means that c is greater than 0 but less than 1 x is also greater than 0 but less than 1 so here I put c greater than 0 but less than 1 and x greater than 0 but less than 1 remember x is greater than c so this is my c less than my x if I square I'll still get 0 0.2 squared less than 0 0.3 squared if I subtract 0 0.2 squared from 1 and subtract 0 0.3 squared from 1 you will see that 1 minus 0.3 squared will now be less than 1 minus 0.2 squared 
I want you to understand this one very well. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like and share the videos. Now, if we take the reciprocal, we will now see that 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2 squared is now less than 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.3 squared. If we take the square root, you see that the answers will still remain the same. That is 1 divided by square root of 1 minus 0 0.2 squared will still be less than 1 divided by square root of 1 minus 0 0.3 squared. So here it means that 1 divided by square root of 1 minus c squared is less than 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x squared. Now let's see something. You will see that here 1 divided by square root of 1 minus 0 0.3 squared is 1.05. It is greater than 1. This one too is greater than 1. Yes. But let's see. 1.05 is greater than 1.05 is greater than 1.02, which is also greater than 1. So we can rearrange it as 1 is less than 1.02 which is also less than 1.05 and 1.05 is this 1.02 is this and you have 1 so here you can say that all these are greater than 1 wow and what does this represent? that is what we have here 1 divided by square root of 1 minus c squared is sine inverse of x divided by s so, this inequality will simply become 1 is less than sine inverse of x divided by x less than 1 divided by 1 minus x squared under the square root. If we multiply 2 by x, we have x less than sine inverse of x less than x divided by square root of 1 minus x all squared Q E D. That is to be shown. Hence proved. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. Bye bye.